Welcome to Screencast 2B.1, Sets and Venn Diagrams. Venn Diagrams are a very useful tool to help us organize data so that it can be analyzed. In the problem that we are going to do together today, we are going to use a Venn Diagram to do exactly that. Help us organize some data and then answer some questions based on that data. If you look at the question in front of you, which if you have, using an understanding mathematics, a quantitative reasoning approach by Bennett and Briggs, is number 81 on page 51 in your text. This problem states that a review of sales at a large automobile dealership for the past month shows that the following number of buyers chose air conditioning, four-wheel drive, and CD players in their cars. Now the first question, which I did not put down here, asked us to create a Venn diagram based on this data so that we can answer the four questions that you see in the lower right hand corner of your screen. So we're going to do exactly that. First step will be to label the circles within our Venn diagram and you can see that I have that all set for us to go here. For our purposes I'm going to work clockwise and label the first circle AC for air conditioning, the second circle four-wheel drive, and I'll try to get this out of the way as much as possible when I'm placing this in the circle, and then CD player, I'm just going to put a CD at the bottom of the circle over here. Now I'm going to go over to my chart and as I record things um, I'm going to check them off as I go and also talk a little bit about where they go in the Venn diagram circle. Our first option is for AC only and 45 buyers had just air conditioning which means they want to be in the part of the circle that doesn't intersect with either CDs or four-wheel drives. So we're going to enter that 45 right in the outer point of the air conditioning circle. Four-wheel drive only is our next option. The people that only chose four-wheel drive and, and did not choose CDs or air conditioning numbered eight and they will go right here. Cassette disc CD option there were 12 that chose just that and not air conditioning or four-wheel drive, so that 12 belongs over here. And then those people that wanted none of those options are going to be outside of the three circles completely. So we are going to enter those three people up here, and they really could go anywhere in that square outside. Now we're going to deal with people that chose two options only. And the first people to do that um, chose air conditioning and four-wheel drive. And there were 21 of those. Now watch where I put this 21. I want it to be within the intersection of air conditioning and four-wheel drive, but I don't want it to be in the space at all touching CD players. So that's why I put it at kind of the outer level of this particular football shape that shows the intersection of the air conditioning and the four-wheel drive. We have 16 people that chose air conditioning and cassette players only. Again, I'm going to enter those 16 out here. The intersection of air conditioning and CDs actually goes all the way along here, but we don't want to be in this area here that's also in four-wheel drive. And then finally, and let me check off those two since I've done them, and then finally we have those people that chose CD and four-wheel drive only. That's this intersection, but because we don't want air conditioning, we can't enter those people in here, so those eight belong out there. That means that we have one section of our three-circle Venn diagram left, and that is the circle for those that chose all three options. And we have 10 of those, so we're going to enter those 10 right in there. And now we've completely filled in our Venn diagram, and this is a pictorial way of looking at what we could see in the chart. But it also will allow us to answer these four questions that are down below over here. The first question that we're going to answer is how many people chose air conditioning and four-wheel drive? 
And the word and here is extremely important. In mathematics, and has a very specific meaning. It means that we are looking for those that have both characteristics. And for us, that would involve this group right here, which we already identified when we put the numbers into the squares. So we have 21 that chose simply air conditioning and four-wheel drive. Now the second problem is worded a bit differently. Again, we're looking at air conditioning and four-wheel drive, but we want to know how many people chose the air conditioning but not the four-wheel drive. That means really we need to be looking at those numbers that are not intersected by the four-wheel drive at all. And for us, that would be this value right here and that value right there. They have air conditioning, but they do not have four-wheel drive. So we have to exclude the 10 and the 21. So if we add 45 and 16 together, we get a total of 61. Now we're going to look at how many people chose air conditioning or four-wheel drive or CD. Now for us, again, or has a very, very specific meaning in mathematics. And notice we have two ors. Notice that we have two ors in our problem. One right here and one right here. For our purposes, we are going to consider or to be an inclusive or. That means we want the people that chose air conditioning and or four-wheel drive and or CDs. One or the other or both or all three. Basically, that means we want everything, all of the numbers within the three circles. We want the 45 and the 16 that have already been highlighted. We want the 21. We want the 10. We want the 8 over here. We want the 12 over here and this 8 over here. The only number really that we're not going to take is this 3 that's up here. So they have air conditioning, or they have cassette players, or they have four-wheel drive. But again, it can be any combination of those as well. If we total those numbers up, 45 plus 16 plus 10 plus 21 plus 12 plus 8 plus 8, we actually end up with 120 people that chose AC or four-wheel drive or CDs. Our last question asks how many people chose exactly two options. If you look back at our chart, and now they're all highlighted, but to, to emphasize this problem, I'm going to um, re-highlight those that fall into this category with a different color. If we want people that chose exactly two options, we are looking for the part of the circle that intersect between the AC and the CD, between the AC and the four-wheel drive, between the CD and the four-wheel drive, but that do not include this football shape in the center. And that goes back to our, if we look at our chart, our 21, our 16, our 8. So we are actually looking for this group that chose two options, this group that chose two options, and this group that chose two options. If we add together 16 plus 8 plus 21, we come up with a grand total of 45. To recap what we did today, we started off with a chart of information. We knew that we had three options we were considering, so we needed a Venn diagram with three circles. We filled in each section of the Venn diagram circle with the information that we were given, and then very carefully paying attention to how we use AND and OR in mathematics, we answered the questions based on our Venn diagram. Thank you for viewing this screencast.